Hi everyone and welcome back to another video in our Women in Space series. Today, we will be looking at Chiaki Mukai, a doctor and astronaut celebrated for becoming the first Japanese woman to travel to space. Starting with a brief timeline of Chiaki's early life, Chiaki was born on May 6, 1952 in Tadabayashi, Japan. To further her education, she moved to Tokyo and attended the Kiyo University School of Medicine where she obtained her doctorate in medicine in 1977. From 1977 to 1985, Chiaki underwent a period of training in cardiovascular surgery at the Kiyo University Hospital. Finally, in 1988, she received a second doctorate, this one in physiology, from Kiyo University once again. While Chiaki was working as a cardiovascular surgeon, the National Space Development Agency of Japan, which was formerly known as NASDA but is now named the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, they approached her. They offered her the chance to combine her love for medicine and science by conducting scientific research in space, which, as you might have guessed, was an amazing opportunity that Chiaki eagerly accepted. As a result, in 1994, Chiaki joined NASA's STS-65 mission as a payload specialist. In doing so, she became the first Japanese woman to fly in space. During the 15 days she spent aboard the Columbia Space Shuttle, Chiaki conducted 82 experiments focused on space life science, microgravity science, the autonomic nervous system, bone and muscle metabolism, and cardiovascular systems. Four years later, Chiaki returned to space once again for a 9-day flight aboard the Discovery Space Shuttle. During this mission, she set another record and became the first Japanese citizen to make a second trip to space. Working as a payload specialist, Chiaki collaborated with other researchers and she conducted really fascinating experiments, including some that investigated the impact of space travel on the aging process. Chiaki has received numerous awards for her work, including the Outstanding Service Award from NASDA, another Outstanding Service Award, this time from the Society of Japanese Women Scientists, and she also received a special congressional recognition from the U.S. Congress. Taking a moment for reflection, Chiaki was born in the 1950s. And that means that she grew up in a time where gender roles were very rigid and society had set expectations for women. Specifically, women felt a lot of pressure to become wives and mothers, to raise families, and to manage the home. And in saying that, what's incredibly inspiring about Chiaki's story is the fact that she defied expectations by not only becoming an astronaut, but by becoming the first Japanese woman to fly in space too. And I hope that her accomplishments are as encouraging and inspiring to you as they are to everyone here at In This Space. With that said, here are our resources and our credits. And thank you so much for listening. Feel free to connect with In This Space on the platforms listed below. Bye!